Welcome to our video on felt battening and roof tiling. There are three tiles laid on some battens and those battens are gauged or laid, nailed so that the tile overlaps the one below it by 75 millimeters in this case, Redland 50 tiles. Each tile has a different headlap. The tiles are laid down over the fascia board and sometimes tilers like to put what is called a tilt on top of the fascia board to allow the very first tile to tilt up ever so slightly so the water runs into the middle of the gutter. The first strip of felt you can see there is actually plastic DPC which stops water forming behind the fascia board sagging and rotting the felt. The battens are nailed on to a gauge which allows the tiles to be laid equidistantly all the way up the roof and giving the minimum required headlap. That's worked out before you start tiling and as I've said from the bottom to the top. The top gap is covered by the ridge tile and the ridge tile will give the same minimum headlap as tile on tile. The tiles themselves are fixed to the battens by nailing through the hole provided, sometimes there's two holes. And when the tiles are laid to the edge or the verge of the roof, the battens are fixed temporarily until we lift them and slide a piece of asbestolux underneath, a verge strip, which allows the sand and cement to be laid on the verge strip and the tiles pushed down onto that sand and cement to form a solid verge. Sometimes when laying the tiles, the left-hand verge needs to be cut, and when we do that, we try and cut it in the most, in the position that gives us the neatest possible verge. The bottom course has an eave strip underneath it, flexible plastic strips, which the tiles squash down and stop birds getting underneath the tiles. This particular roof is laid to a roof window which can be seen on a separate video but we hope this particular video has given you some understanding of how your roof is constructed.